Hi fragrance friends, Danielle here. Sorry it's been a little while since I've made a video. The life gets in the way. So hopefully the last couple I've made have kept you satisfied until I could get around to making this one. As you can see, I'm not in my normal environment. I am at my parents' house for the weekend enjoying the peace and tranquility of Williamsburg, Virginia, uh, getting out of the city for a minute. And so what I wanted to do today is make a quick video showing you some of the new samples from Tiziana Terenzi's um, new line of fragrances that is inspired by the sea. Um, as you know, if you're a fan of Tiziana Terenzi, um, they are frequently inspired by things like nature. They love, they've made a line having to do with stars and planets, and now here we go to the ocean, 20,000 leagues under the sea, if you will. You know I only do one take videos, so when I drop something on the floor, I bend down and I get it. So a, cu a couple of the fragrances today that I'd like to talk about are Atlantide. I also have Talea, which is personally my favorite one so far, even though I have not unboxed these, but I received a sample uh, some time ago that was hand-painted in a little hand-painted vial by Tiziana herself. Um, we've got Orza. Poggia, I think. Correct me if you speak Italian. And also Cubia. So we're going to start off today. Let's do an alphabetical order. Let's do Atlantide first. So this is a fragrance containing notes of tuberose, absolute, bergamot, which already tells me I'm going to like it because I love bergamot, rose, and passion fruit. Um, also with cassis, red berry, narcissus, another one of my favorites. Oris, Orange Blossom, another one of my favorites, and Tuberose in the mid note. And then finally, um, a dry down of base note of Musk, Benzoin, and Ambergris. That makes it a little questionable for me. I'm not sure how I'm going to like that Musk and that Ambergris together, but we'll see. It sounds like it should be a floral, does it not? Mmm, this is pretty. You can definitely pick up the tuberose. It's a nice, warm floral. Also getting the orange blossom. This is a really nice fragrance, and it lacks that signature fragrance, that signature accord that a lot of Tiziana Terenzi fragrances have. So if you're a fan of Bond Number no. 9, you know that a lot of Bond Number no. 9 fragrances have that same signature. Um, I think it might be musk in the, in the dry down, in the base note, that makes it a little bit screechy at times. I can't imagine this will be that way. It does dry down a little spicier, probably from the Oris, but I do like this. I think it's a nice one so far. Definitely a good start out of the gate, but definitely a floral, and I definitely think it leans more feminine than masculine, unless you're a confident man who thinks he can pull off a floral, which I know a lot of my followers are. All right, next we've got Cubia. This contains Sorrento Lemon, Calabrian, Bergamot, and Brazilian Orange with White Peach, Yellow Peach, and Cassis, as well as Atlantis Cedar, or Atlas Cedar, Indonesian Patchouli, I'm going to hate it, and Indian Sandalwood. So, not a fan of patchouli. But we'll see about the Bergamot and the Brazilian Orange. Those two might win me over, even though I don't like the base notes. Oh, it's pretty. Definitely fresh and citrusy. You can definitely smell the lemon and the bergamot and the orange. Getting a little bit of the peach as well. And then I'm sure as it dries down, you'll continue to smell that sandalwood, that patchouli kind of earthy, warm base. I'm hoping to smell the cedar. I think it's starting to come out because I do like cedar. But to me, cedar in a fragrance makes it more of a masculine fragrance. That's just my own personal opinion. I don't have any fragrances that contain cedar. But I do like it. You can actually start to smell the cedar on the dry down. I'd probably wear this. It's light, inoffensive, probably good for the summertime. Um, that peach and that lemon really keep it cool and inoffensive, which I think is a really important thing to consider in today's fragrance culture where so much of the emphasis is on getting compliments from other people 
and you know wearing 10 sprays that kind of thing which you guys already know that I'm strictly against all right let's move on to Orza so Orza ooh, Orza sounds pretty this is green apple Calabrian Mandarin red plum from Romagna coconut raspberry blackberry Mexican magnolia and Himalayan orchid it also contains Indian jasmine Bulgarian rose and lily of the valley I'm fairly certain I'm gonna love this one. Ambergris, Australian sandalwood, benzoin, white musk, Madagascan vanilla, and caramel make up the base of this fragrance. So let's sniff. I'll be so disappointed if I don't like it with all those notes that I love so much. Mmm, this is amazing. I will say this though, it smells like anything you could get at Bath & Body Works. But it smells really good. It's like a uh, $400 Bath & Body Works fragrance, if that's your thing. It smells exactly like the fragrance Bath & Body Works brings out every holiday season with a different name. Except it costs 400 something dollars. But it's beautiful. It is so floral and fruity at the same time. Really light and pretty and feminine for sure. I would definitely call this a feminine fragrance. It's really pretty. But again, if you're going to, if you're going to wear it, if it already exists somewhere else in a cheaper form, why not wear it in the cheaper form? That's my opinion on this fragrance, even though I do really like it a lot. But I've smelled it somewhere else, and I've smelled it somewhere else for about $380 cheaper. So that's my opinion on this particular fragrance. Next is Poja, P-O-G-G-I-A. This is bergamot, again, so as you can tell, bergamot has been in every single one of these fragrances, um, along with Sorrento Lemon, which is, I think has been in about two or three of them, um, Syracusian Blood Orange and Yellow Peach, along with Rosemary, Polynesian Yang Lang Lang, I always have such a hard time with that word, Lang Lang, Turkish Rose, Green Apple and Passion Fruit, again with the traditional Tiziana Terenzi base of musk and ambergris and vanilla. You'll find that commonly in Tiziana Terenzi bases. Hmm. Herbal. More masculine. Fresh. Like right out of the shower, fresh. I like it, but I wouldn't wear this. It's definitely too masculine for me but I do, I do like it. And so far, none of these fragrances have bothered me, which is unusual. Usually at least one of them bothers me, but I really do like this. It's very pretty. It's not pretty, it's nice. It's a nice, fresh, sophisticated fragrance. It's just more masculine, I think, than it is feminine. But you definitely pick up on the bergamot in every single one of these fragrances, which is why I think I like all of them so much because I love bergamot and fragrances. My favorite bergamot fragrance of all time, as you know, is Soleil Neige by Tom Ford, which combines bergamot with carrot seed. I think it's a combination that initially sounded ridiculous to me, but actually really is wonderful. Okay, so that was Poja. Definitely for men. Last but not least is Talea, which I disclosed that I've already smelled. Um, a while back, I was sent a sample of Talea um, in a vial that was decorated her, by Tiziana Terenzi herself. Um, I think I've mentioned in previous videos that I have a friend who's a rep for Tiziana Terenzi and periodically when they're about to launch some new fragrances or right after a launch, uh, he'll send me the samples for them and then there always usually a master class where they where Tiziana and Paolo Terenzi, you know, they come on Zoom and they tell you all about their fragrances, the inspiration, um, so let's see here, this tester is a little wonky. So this is again, Talea. So Talea is bergamot, again, Sicilian lemon, I'm sorry, Sicilian orange, hawthorn flower, Bulgarian rose, and Romagna pear, along with ambergris, jasmine, Peruvian heliotrope, red patchouli, and lang lang. Base notes per usual, ambergris, musk, Tahitian velvet, mahogany, Tuscan oak, Cambodian agarwood, and dermost, okay? 
I like this fragrance. It's really pretty. It's fresh. Um, it's not offensive. You can definitely smell the Bulgarian rose in this fragrance, but also tempered a little bit by some of the orange and the hawthorn flower. The patchouli, thank goodness, is not coming through too terribly strong for me right now, but it might show up a little bit later in the dry down. I've worn this before and I really like it, although the one time that I did wear it, I got a headache, so I'm going to give it another chance and see how I like it. But overall, I do like it on me and I think it's more of a feminine fragrance. So I, I'm actually really excited about this particular line and I think they're called the Sea Stars. I think that is the name of the line. Um, usually a Tiziana Terenzi line has a name. I have some of the ones from the planetary line, the solar system like Andromeda. Um, so I do like this line. Usually there's at least one that I don't like, but I think I like every single one of these. Would I wear all of them? No, but overall I think they're winners. Uh, so I guess I think all of them would make a nice fragrance for the summertime. I don't know if you could make them work in the fall, but definitely this one, Talea, could be worn, I imagine, in the spring or the fall or even in the winter time. So I like this new line. I'm really excited by it, and I wanted to just pass on my thoughts on these new fragrances. They, The packaging really is the hit. The packaging, a lot of them come in square bottles, and they're filled with water, and then the fragrances are inside of the water. So it's, it's really bizarre, but they're definitely inspired by the sea. So if you see them, try them. Hopefully this gives you a little more insight into the line. And I will be back next week with another video, uh, maybe even another Friday fragrance fun. Who knows when I'm back in my own place and have all of my materials with me. But thank you for watching, and I hope wherever you are, you're safe, happy, and well. Toodles!